New armor outfits, yay or nay? Well, the Fumpims have finally said they're coming to Alpha 22 on PC and a console near you. In this video, I'm going to pull together the old and the new information that we have and see where we end up. I'm going to include some specific Mad Mall footage shown in the past, detailing at least the then plan for the different armor sets. While we go through this, I would love for you to tell me what your favorite outfit is in the comment section below and why. Or if you hate it all, tell us why. So let's recap. The new armor system will have all new art. Although one could argue that the art is now considered pretty old, considering it was shown off first 3.5 years ago. However, I mean, the actual implementation in game is, I suppose, new for Seven Days to Die Alpha 22. It will replace the old clothing and armor system, so you will no longer be pulling on your shorts or high heels or running shoes as before, nor the military armor sets or leather armor and so forth. There are themed armor sets. We'll get to the complete listing in a bit. Armor sets still will have multiple pieces, so you can mix and match if you like. However, wearing a complete set will give you an additional bonus, which might make it more worthwhile than mixing and matching. And first person hands will reflect what you're wearing. This is not just nice, it's crucial. It's the only way and only piece of it that you actually see of yourself wearing an armor. Seeing yourself as a knight in shining armor with shining metal gauntlets puts a certain visual heft behind your gaming as opposed to seeing your bare hands regardless of what you're wearing. So this is a really good thing. All right, with all that out of the way, let's go back in time to 2020 when Madmall was detailing the different armor sets. Much of this seems to be what we are getting today, minus perhaps some of the specific bonuses that likely have been reworked. Start showing some characters and I'm gonna explain the new character system to everybody. Okay. So what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna replace the UMA system with a with brand new in-house character system. And we're gonna do thematic outfits and basically all clothing in the item will have some kind of armor rating so we're doing away with clothing but we're going to have these outfits that have armor built into them i mean and some of them are going to be kind of like basically clothing with low armor rating and then we'll have heavier duty outfits that are full-on heavy armor so each piece is going to come with a perk when you attach it when you when you wear the object and then we're going to have a completion bonus when you get the full set on, just like we do with our books. When you read all the books, you get a special perk that's unlocked. All this is cool. It does take time to implement nice stuff, although I suspect the delay here is due to not the outfits themselves, but the fact that they needed to update the whole character system with new models and custom appearances to make it all fit. Armor is then on top of that, so it couldn't be done properly in isolation. But what about the bonuses? Let's listen to Madmol again. This farmer's outfit, you know, your, your um, body outfit is gonna have, uh, give you a 10% chance to harvest an extra crop. And these percentages, imagine quality range. So a, a, a brown one will give you a 10% chance, you know, and the orange gives you 20, 30, 40, 50. And then legendary will give you a 100% chance to harvest that extra crop. So that's what these, how these percentages kind of work out. And then throughout the document, basically, anytime there's 10%, that means one, two, three, four, and five percent, and then that would be legendary. So legendary is always twice as good as blue or pink, purple, whatever. These aren't final. These are just my initial thoughts on this. And as we as we get a little further, I'm gonna, I'll probably refine and change some of these. Bringing it back to the near time, I believe this is the pharma model. It makes you invisible. The model is similar to the concept art, though I'm not really sure why the farmer is wearing blood all over. He's actually the only one who looks like he's hurt. All right, so here we have a lumberjack, and this is kind of great for chopping wood, use of axes, excellent warmth, and it's a light armor. So your, your main outfit is gonna give you, keep you warm and uh, use 20% less stamina using axes. For the lumberjack, the concept art and the game model seems to be looking very similar. It looks maybe a little bit more rustic in the art concept, but essentially the same. Fortunately, no blood, so at least they didn't chop off his own foot. Cool, everybody's gonna like, like this outfit. This is the miner, and this is great for carrying ores and strength build, and it's gonna be heavy armor. 
Um, minor outfit, crack rock like a pro in this mining outfit, use 20% less stamina with pickaxes. So, you know, all the guys who want to mine, you're going to want this bad boy. Curiously, I don't see the miner outfit shown anywhere. Well, maybe it's the foot or leg on the leftmost side of the image that we can't really see. And these are going to just look fantastic too. Uh, this is one of my favorites here. This is the nerd outfit. It's going to be great for crafting, uh, XP, intellect, specialization, and it's heavy armor. So your lack of fashion sense gives you the ability to focus on your inventions. Items have 50% better stats when crafting. And that would be 50% for legendary. Obviously, you know, these are the, these are the stats prior to legendary. So if you want to craft better quality items, you get this bad boy on and it's going to, you know, really be a big game changer for the crafters. And then the goggles, everybody's kind of familiar with those. They're going to, you know, give you more XP. And then we have the most hated outfit the nerd outfit i'm not really sure why madmo has it as a favorite it looks like one of those gaming outfits that you might see in a video game not something that people would seriously wear in a zombie apocalypse nerdy shorts with knee pads and what looks like two right shoes and boing boing underneath roll cage for the chest and head makes me think of teeth braces I would feel claustrophobic and look like an idiot. Still, it's in the game and the bonuses might be such that people will actually wear it a lot. There we go. Nomad. This is kind of your adventure. This guy's good for, this suit's good for radiation, wandering nomadic style adventure and it's heavy armor. So this guy is going to be main outfit, going to protect you from radiation and reduce your encumbrance by 10. Obviously, uh, counting on the fact that we get radiation working in the uh, wasteland. So, and you start getting radiation damage and that's kind of part of the plan. So we'll, we'll all see how that goes. Coming to the Nomad outfit. And I would say this one does look awesome and like something people actually would be wearing in the zombie apocalypse. I'm not sure that the radiation changes made it into the game. So bonuses are likely very different. And then, uh, the scavenger, this is a light armor and it's good for harvesting, scavenging and carrying, finding good loot. The scavenger outfit looks good and pretty much the same in the game implementation. I like it. Light mobile and good for loot runs. And in effect, it means that it's very situational. Every Blood Moon horde, everyone will look like they're nerds. Going to the wasteland, you would be wearing the nomad outfit. Going to mine, everyone switches to the miner. Oh, farmer. Oh, let's switch to the farmer too situational. You need so many different outfits and you would have to switch between them depending on where and what you were doing. That by itself is not fatal, but it would need a much better armor outfit management system so I can two click rather than one by one pulling off the gear, moving the mods over and re-equipping it. For good measure, let's have a look at some of the animations of characters wearing the armor rather than just the images. I do think they look pretty good and maybe we'll get to see more variety in the look of players rather than everyone wearing the military armor or the heavy armor. Wait, 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 hold on you might say. We've been continually shown that heavy armor plated sets would looks like it would be great for fighting off a whole damned horde in melee. What happened to that? Good question. It looks like it's in the game. We have seen it worn while on bikes and so on, but it doesn't show up in the current list of armor in Alpha 22. What list? This list. Do know this says the armors previously shown that are not listed may or may not be used in future updates. So if you're hoping to look like a tank, you might have to wait or not. We'll have to see whether that set makes it into Alpha 22. But from what Schwanz is saying, we have that primitive outfit, which I guess is the starter outfit, which is a replacement for the legacy plant fiber clothing. We then move down into the light armors with the lumberjack, preacher, rogue, athletic, enforcer, medium armors, farmer, biker, scavenger, ranger, commander, and assassin. Would an assassin be a light armor? Ah, anyway, heavy armors where we have the miner, nomad, nerd, and raider. I'm not really sure I'd consider roll cage being a heavy armor because he looks really unarmored except for that roll cage. But anyway, I guess their view of light, medium and heavy armors is different than I would imagine myself. I am hoping that during the upcoming development streams that they will do more to show off players in the game wearing the different sets so we can actually see how they look in real gameplay as well as hear a little bit about the bonuses and the benefits. My understanding is also that with all these set pieces, they can each have 
armor mods on them as well to further boost them, much like we've been able to do with mods in armor previously. So start off with our primitive outfit and upgrade as you find more pieces. Thank you for watching, but before you leave, why not hit that like button at least and subscribe if you enjoyed their content. Take care.